Hi, I'm Richard Corrigan. Welcome to Springboard Future Chef's Kitchen. And I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite family dishes, which I made with the children when they were young, which is a risotto. And a risotto can be made with anything. Frankly, there was a crochet left in my kitchen. Lovely onion, I have a few scallions, a bit of garlic, a little bit of anchovy, parmigiano, and a little bit of zest of lemon at the very end. And I have used, because this is my country kitchen, an organic stock cube. So no excuses, organic stock cube, absolutely very quick way. Now you don't need a big mound of risotto, so a small amount. So I always say a handful of rice per person is absolutely sufficient. You can put, the crochets will go in at the very end. I'm just gonna lightly salt my crochets. They need very little cooking, they're mostly Huge water content. These were polytunnel grown. The delicious salted and raw, just at the very end, they go in. We've in there with some, uh, a liter of water and just let it melt. And that's absolute sufficient. Be careful using nanny stocks. They always tend to be a little bit salty. Parmesan is salty, anchovies is salty. So really, if you're gonna season this risotto, season at the very end with a little sprinkling of salt on the top. Absolutely suffice. So we melt the butter in there very nicely. And remember, the heat, not too much. Take your time, slow down, do it properly. Then I bring it over here and I add in my red onion, which is nicely cooked up there. And we just take our time. Yeah, I love you. I just turn the heat up just a small bit. Then I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic. Why? I love garlic. This is all about you, not me. I love garlic, so I'm gonna put lots in. Onions this time of the year, gardens are full of them. So, hence red onions, spring onions, and crochets. All out of our polytunnels, delicious. Don't need to crush it. Paper thin slices. It melts, it just absolutely melts in the onion. You're worrying about the butter ever browning too quickly. Just add a tiny bit of olive oil in there. And so that's what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for melted onions and garlic. So risotto, simple risotto. I like a good arborio. Good, nice sized grain pieces, you know, the nice big sized grain pieces. Absolutely super fine, delicious quality as well. So key to risotto, proportion. One handful of rice per portion is absolutely sufficient. But of course I'm a little bit hungry. So I'll put a, that's it, two handfuls, done. And then we just melt that rice in very nicely. Add in my thyme in there, no more than that. Thyme is fantastic, thyme is, oh, beautiful. Just very gently, very, very gently. Remember in Italy, a risotto is really the starter, so you wouldn't want to give yourself big mounds of it. So just a small handful per person, no, or a nice handful per person, absolutely suffice with lots of filling, crochets and vegetables. You know what I mean? Delicious, great way to use up any little bobs left over in the fridge. So that has absorbed all that lovely flavor. And then we just take a, a ladle at a time. This is the key to a risotto is you add in slowly. And the key now to the risotto is the stirring for the first four to five minutes, and that releases the starch that will thicken the risotto. Okay, just nothing more than that. So after four to five minutes, you stop stirring. Stir for five minutes which I'm nearly there. So it's four to five minutes, just nice and easy. Rubbing all those rices together to get the starch out. And that will take in our risotto. A little bit of thyme in there. F 15 minutes is gone. Another four to five minutes, this is ready. I'm looking for just a rice, very little moisture, very little stock floating around. 
and I just check a little bit on my a light light bite to the rice another four minutes and it's there I'm going to take this I'm going to take this off the heat now I'm going to let it finish cooking in its own heat in there so this rice cooked still a little brightness so I add in my courgettes My spring onions. It really is a fridge cleaner. A little zesty lemon. Uh, Parmigiano. Lots. Generous. And then my little pista resistance, my anchovies. Oh my God, they're good. Mm. Everyone loves anchovies. Very end. Plenty of beautiful chives from the garden. And that's my family, the risotto. And the key to a good risotto is a place, not a bowl. And so the crochet is just just warmed in there. Give it a go at home. Soup, super simple. A little bit of parmigiano, a little bit of anchovy, the lemon. It smells delicious. Crusty bread. Mmm. Go on, give it a go.